Hey guys, hope you're all doing okay. So for today, I thought I would make a tutorial about C++ and Linux. How to run C++ compiler in Linux terminal and how to compile and execute within the terminal. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, as you can see, we're at the terminal and we just need to install a package and it's called G++. So go ahead and install that package. As you can see, it's already installed because the chances are if you're using the newest version of Ubuntu or any Linux kernel, it's already going to be installed. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now I'm going to create abc.cpp. This is going to be our sample C++ file. And if I list that, we can see that it is created at the, at the top. Yes. Um, now let's go ahead and clear this. We're going to use nano to actually put our code inside in this file. So include IO stream and then include vector. So for my sample code, I'm going to uh, create the most useless vector that you ever saw. So namespace standard. And in our main function, we're going to create the vector. So for my vector, I'm going to create a uh, vector and it's, it's going to be type string and I'm going to name it vec. So if I do vec.pushback and this is and then vec.pushback a test And I'm going to loop through this for int integer i is equal to zero, i less than string dot size. And it's going to be incremented. So if you can see out that back i and then end left. And that's it. I think our program is done. Let's go ahead and save that. Clear the screen. Now we just need to G and the name of our file. Oops, misspelled that. Um, G abc.cpp. So it's gonna go ahead and compile our file. And as you can see, I didn't get any error messages. I just got the next line. That means that it, it, it was done without any errors. So if you go ahead and list that, you're gonna see that we got an additional file, a.out. This is our compiled file. We just need to execute that. So execute that file. And as we can see, the file was executed beautifully. There was no error whatsoever. So let's remove that because I don't want that on my desktop. So that was our very basic look as to how to create, compile, and execute C++ files within the terminal. I wouldn't recommend this if you're going to be doing a lot of programming. An actual IDE like Eclipse or Codeblocks might be more appropriate for you. And also there are a lot of C++ compatible editors out there so you don't have to use Nano, you can just use one of them. But yeah, that was our very basic look as to how C++ compilation works with G++ compiler within the terminal. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys later.